Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to She's in Her Aprons 2020 Christmas Special. Welcome, friends. It's so good to see you. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a great one. We're starting off on Christmas Eve Eve. It is December 23rd, 2020, and I've been a busy bee today. Hopefully, I don't have any food in my teeth. No, but I sure do have icing in my hair. Check that out. I've been wolfing down a burger that Derek made on the grill tonight, so we grilled up some burgers. So today, I have been working on still Callie's Christmas gift that I'm giving to her, and I'll share it with you real soon. It's exciting. And I've been working on some Italian Christmas cookies. I doubled the recipe and made a huge batch of the lemon, and then I did a small batch of the anise. So I packed up some for Derek's aunt who loves the anise, loves it. Let me show you how I packed these cookies. So at Walmart this year, they had a pack of three of these cute little boxes, and I have not seen well, any. What I just said to them, huh. so this is for the whole family Merry Christmas. That was so sweet, good job. So they look like this. Um, this is their holiday time, and this year they had these little, little boxes, um, three in a pack, which I, I nabbed. I was like, are you kidding? So I grabbed those, and then they had these bread boxes. How adorable are these? And then, um, so these two loaf boxes, um, they're two in a package. These I grabbed last year, they're big cupcake boxes. Um, I haven't used them yet this year, um, but I'm holding on to them. So, I have Aunt Lisa's Anna's here, and they're different because I put the basic all colored sprinkles on them, like all Italians basically use. And then of course, all the ones that are in the Christmas sprinkles are the normal ones. So we are going to be passing out cookies tomorrow. We're gonna drive down and see family and deliver them. All the leftover cookies are right here in this big container. And this is for us to snack on for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Mm, it's not Christmas without a yummy Italian Christmas cookie. My dishwasher is clean, the light is on, so I gotta um, empty it. But I gotta get the goo off of here. This is brand new, you guys. Our dishwasher kicked the bucket. And then it started flooding underneath the cabinet and getting wet and trickling out. We had a plumber come and look at it and he says, you're gonna need to replace the dishwasher. I've seen it, it just gets worse, which it was leaking on, um, which was leaking before for my in-laws and then we got here and we were just like, make it worse. So this is a brand new dishwasher and I gotta get all the gooey stuff off of it. So I just gotta get all this cleaned up. Um, we already have presents wrapped, some, and under the tree. And then Amazon is going to make a delivery, they're saying 10 p.m. on Christmas Eve. So the boys better stink and hope that that delivers on time because <laughs> the majority of their Christmas is in that one. Ooh, doggy and I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen and then I'm gonna get back to work on Kelly's Christmas gift. All right, I'll share with you what it is now. I've made her a family cookbook and this QR code she scans and it brings to the video that I have made for it onto She's in Her Apron. So there's my recipes, my mom's recipes, Oma's recipes, her family recipes on here and if I've made a video, like I said, it's got that QR code. So I'm just right now, I've been um, printing them off, getting them in. This is one of the small books, like the really small ones. So it's like half of a uh, printer page when you're in landscape this way. So um, yeah, and I still have more to print out and put in here. And then I have dividers to separate them. Um, I really don't like these but I think I might just put in um, some tabs to put on here so she could see them better. So this is, I've been working on this and making videos and just getting ready for Christmas and this one has just kinda went last. But this is pretty much the prototype of what I wanna do for She's in Her Apron. So I'm making her this cause she She'll be like, what is the recipe for this? And I said, well, I do have it on YouTube and she'll go and watch the video. So now she'll have the recipe and she can go watch the video. So that's what I'm working on. All right, well, I think I'm gonna leave you here 
for Christmas Eve Eve, and then I will see you in just a second for Christmas Eve. Christmas. It is almost 7 in the morning and I have started on the gravy. The onions are going to caramelize so um, low, slow, they're going to get beautiful caramelizing color. Uh, I'll keep flipping the pork chops and then once the onions get to that beautiful yummy caramelized color then um, we'll add the tomatoes in. So I'm adding in my tomatoes and I want to share with you what these tomatoes are these are sento tomatoes today is the first time i'm going to try them because every, all the other tomatoes i've been using doesn't it really i mean it tastes like my grandmother's gravy but not it's like off and i'm trying these but i did get some pastine tomatoes that i ordered from their company and they're being shipped out here the pastine tomatoes is what my grammy used uh, growing up making her gravy and yes some Italian families call their sauce, their spaghetti sauce, um, gravy. I, it's a huge debate here on my channel, but I've had a ton of you that have grown up back east that say you call it gravy as well. Um, so the pastine tomatoes is what my grandmother, my Grammy, used and my mom used until she moved and had to um, find something else too. Because I noticed like every time I make my gravy, I'm like, oh, it tastes like it, but it's not Grammys. And then uh, my mom's like, yeah, it's the tomatoes. And so I was on the phone with my mom and dad the other night. I'm like, okay, what are the name of these tomatoes? And I looked on Amazon and I can get them through Amazon, but they're really expensive. So I just went on Pastine's website, which they're based out of Massachusetts and that's where I'm from. Um, and they delivered and they delivered through FedEx and it was actually cheaper to go through them. So I have those tomatoes coming, so the next time I make my grandmother's gravy, it'll taste exactly like it, and I am so excited. So we're gonna give these a try. My mom said she has tried these before, um, but I'm gonna give these a whirl and see the difference um, in what I've already been using, which has been just like what I could find at Walmart, like the S&W tomatoes or the Walmart brand so but they but my mom says the thing that makes the pastine so good is that it's not there's no water with these tomatoes like at all um, so I'm not sure how the cento is done I don't know but you, you go with what you know so we're gonna do the gravy with these tomatoes and then the next time the good stuff you like the streamers on the door Boston did that for Shaylee for her birthday. Okay, so Derek and Jonah are almost home from running a few errands, so I need to get Derek's gift wrapped. Some of our packages for Amazon were scheduled to not be here till 10, and we just got some. Hopefully, these are all of them. <sighs> There's a scissor. I had Derek's brother help me with a gift for him. He loves games and going to like, and playing like those fantasy games. Like, not, not like fantasy games, but like, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons type of guy games. I might just wrap this box because, look how big this thing is. It's some game, I don't know. Gloomhaven? I don't know. It's a boy thing. Oh my gosh, this is heavy. Wow, it's totally up his alley. Haven't opened this one yet. Vintagey paper. But this is a heavy gift. I don't think this paper's heavy. This is Costco. And Co Costco. No, I might need to do this one. This one from Hobby Lobby is a little more sturdier. And I wish 
I still had the wrapping around this. I'd like to know how thick this is. Brother Sister Design Studio. This was Hobby Lobby last year. Okay, and this is Brother Sister Design Studio, but this isn't as thick as this. So I'm going to have to next year really look at the wrapping and see the difference. Because I'm loving, sorry I'm like my head's cut off, but I'm loving how thick this is. Let's try to wrap this gift because he should be here any minute. Oh, I think they're home. I'm hearing heavy footsteps upstairs. Oh, it's breaking the corner. Ah! We weren't going to exchange gifts this year. And I told him not to buy me anything. Because I honestly, I'm fine. But I was like, you know what? I thought I only had like one thing for you. And I told him, I'm like, I think I have four things for you. And he's like, four. I'm like, don't you dare. He said, I know you already got me a gift. Please let that be all. I said, I don't need anything. But I like spoiling Derek because of like, he works so dang hard. He really does. But I like to spoil him when I know what it is that he likes and wants. Oh, hi. I'm wrapping. Hi, we're wrapping. Um, what came? I don't know. This is all it came? No, and that box that they're on. That one? Yes. And then that package came. So I don't know if that's all of them that we're waiting on. You want to find a spot for this under the tree? Sure. Okay, so let's go into the kitchen. Derek can finish wrapping the Amazon packages that came. All right, so I took out hot Italian sausage to put in to the gravy. Well, it did not thaw out good. It was pretty dang gross. It was the cheap Kroger kind, and it just was bad. It was so bad. So Derek was out running the last minute things with Jonah and I said, oh, we need hot Italian sausage. Not mild, hot. And he got the last two at Macy's, it looks like they went to. So he grabbed for me the Johnsonville hot Italian sausage. This always works out good. This is what I can find out here in Utah. Costco and Sam's has like mild, but they never carry hot. I'm like, I need hot. It spices up my gravy. So, all right, I'm gonna probably about one quarter, no, nah, no, third these sausage links and get them in the gravy. I gotta make the meatballs and get them in here too. So I've been working on Callie's gift and I have been cleaning and then I got myself ready. So, <clears throat> I'm going to work on a little more of her gift here in just a few minutes. But as soon as the meatballs are done in here, then I can make the stuffed shells. That's on the menu today. And it's funny because my brother Seth, for his Christmas dinner, I don't know if it's for Christmas Eve, he's making my mom and grandmother's strushies macaroni and with the gravy. My brother Jerry is making uh, lasagna rolls tonight and I don't know if he's using the gravy as well I'm not sure and I'm telling you the hot sausage makes this the mild doesn't cut it it'll change the taste drastically all right so we always start with the sausage and it gives it a head start mm, it smells so good in here you guys I wish you could smell this like again the full video on this is down below so I already have the onions in here the pork that pork chop is just gonna continue to break down throughout the cooking. But you know what this smells like? This smells like Sundays at the Three Decker in Worcester. Mm, mm, mm. So my mom and Grammy would get the pastine tomatoes I was telling you about at Dorico's Market off of Shrewsbury Street in Worcester, Massachusetts. And um, so every time my mom goes home to visit, she always goes to Dorico's and buys the tomato paste and the tomatoes and brings them home so she can make her gravy. So I'm already noticing a difference in the taste with the Cento tomatoes, um, but I can't wait for those pastine tomatoes to come in. I'm just going to order them like that. You know, every two months make an order. 
I'm so excited. But this is close. This, these tomatoes make a better, uh, these tomatoes are doing way better than what I was using that I would get from Walmart, like the store brand. Yeah, no. Oh, wanna see what I got? Pecorino Romano cheese. <laughs> I grew up on this stuff. That smells so good. Derek found this at Costco. Can we all take a minute? <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm a kid again. Isn't it amazing how food is tied to a memory? Yum. All right. Those are, I'm going to shred some of that, put it in the meatballs. I'm also going to shred some of that to put into the cheese mixture for the stuff shells. Yum. All right. Mm. That smell, I'm going to cry. <laughs> that smell reminds me of grating it on my grandmother's round grate, grater. I have it somewhere here. Oh, uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I put it back in storage to keep it safe. But um, it's a round grater and the top comes off. That's the grating part and all the cheese falls inside. And we as kids would take it and, and take turns grating the cheese on it. And I got my hands on that. My mom gave it to me. And so I have that of my grandmother's and the smell just reminds me of sitting at her table just grating the cheese. Mm. But isn't it amazing how food has memories? The, you know, smells have memories. I think that's beautiful. Thank goodness, right? Oh. Anywho, I'm dismissing family today. And I know a lot of you are too. And a lot of you can't see a lot of your family right now because of this crappy situation that we're in. <sighs> but I hope you're having or had a wonderful Christmas season and we're still able to connect with your loved ones. We are hopefully doing a Zoom call tomorrow with family. I need to text everybody. Dang it, I gotta do that. Oh, there's so much to do. All right, let's make some meatballs. <laughs> up and down from upstairs to down here and Derek and every time they come in oh it smells so good in here I'm like, yes it does so I'm gently stirring these to make sure that they're all covered I don't want to break up that meatball but, oh yeah so very carefully it's on a simmer and this is just bubbling away and cooking and then the flavors from the sausage and the meatballs all that is gonna make now like give the gravy the sauce that <clears throat> every other year it seems like every other year I try to do this for my family and um, and they have started getting memories of it too so oh that warms my heart so yay all right I'm gonna let this go and uh, I'm gonna get, it's 348. I'm gonna get started on the shells. That way I can get them in the oven, ready to go when it's time to bake them. So I have a pot right here. I'm gonna get some water in it, salt it, get it going, and then drop in the jumbo shells. And I'm gonna just start picking up, um, just start picking up and maybe set the table and get things ready for tonight. All right, I got my big pan here and I've got some gravy at the bottom. I thought I thought out my mozzarella cheese and I didn't, so it's okay. It's okay if it's a little frozen, it'll be fine. I have two ricotta cheeses, ricotta, and then the Romano. Then I have a little bit of Italian seasoning, 
some parsley. I don't have fresh parsley um, and a little bit of salt. And then I need an egg. All right, so I'm gonna put, I have a full video on how I do this. It's the same cheese that I do for my Lazy Man lasagna, my lasagna, so. But I'll leave a video, a full video to my stuffed shell recipe so you can see that. Um, I could use two eggs, I'm debating. I don't like it com really bound up. Like, I like it a little runny, that's my preference. So, season, a little salt. <laughs> we don't even think about it, we just add. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's just do all of that. Let's see it. Oh, it smells killing me. Is it good? Ugh. Merry Christmas. I forgot to take out the cheese, so it's a little frozen. It thaws out quick. It does. So. <laughs> oh, this is killing me, Kimmy. It smells so good in here. Could you smell it when you walked back in from the garage? No, it's not sucked upstairs all the way yet. Not but yet. As soon as you come down the stairs, it just poof, hits you in the face. <laughs> a big wall of yumminess. All right, so I'm, I don't even know how much mozzarella this is. No idea, but I'm going to just put it in. Could be two cups, actually, exactly what I need. Just so I'm looking at it. All right, I'm going to mix this all together, and then I'm going to stuff my shells. So I used jumbo shells, and then I used... Um, so I put some olive oil in the water to help separate them. Then they're in the strainer, that um, the metal thing that they were cooking in, and I rinsed them off with cold water. Are you not eating with this? No. Oh, okay. So I was, like, I they know didn't know what enough. they didn't know what they were. No, I'm making plenty because Callie and Felix want some when they yes, come over told tomorrow. Me I have to steal some and put them away. In the I told Callie and Felix I would save them. So I'm making a lot. Hi, I have Italian in me. Of course I'm making a lot of food. Can you find me a camera battery? I have all of your chargers, none of which have a battery in them. Yeah, I said I gotta go charge you. Well, there will be no more for Christmas Eve. Because all the batteries are dead. Alright, got my paper towel to wipe my hands on quite a bit. Now, these freeze so well. I've made these for freezer meals a lot. Just don't cook them too long, al dente, even if they're still titch hard when you're stuffing them like this because with the water content from freezing, they're gonna cook up just great. My mom would add the second egg in here, but I just like it just a titch runny. What do you like, Derek? Do you like it thick egg or a little runny cheese? I'm sorry, do you like thick cheese? Or little runny cheese. I like a little softer, a little, a little more runnier. A little more runnier. Yeah, same here. All right, in the comments down below, please tell me what did you guys have for dinner on Christmas Eve, and I'll ask you in just a little bit what you had on Christmas Day. But what did you have on Christmas Eve? All right, guys, I got two big pans filled with the stuffed shells. And I have some leftover shells. I have another container of ricotta. I have more mozzarella. And I'm gonna do, bake up a pan of this um, in just a little bit. But I'm gonna get these two in the oven for right now. And I'm gonna put sauce on top and some mozzarella cheese and get them in the oven.
need to make more shelves. Top shelf. Yeah. All right, we got a whole casserole dish full of shelves. 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 Did I say shelves? Yes. Shelves. Shelves. So when Callie and Felix are here tomorrow, they can have some. And um, all right, so I had a bowl full of leftover shells, and I am, and I had some more ricotta cheese. I just made the blend. Um, I'm gonna put them in one of these aluminum pans and get it in the freezer, and then we can have shells, shells on another day. Uh, Derek's parents are back upstairs. They're wrapping gifts. Um, I'm just gonna finish this and then we're gonna get the kids together and we're gonna do our Christmas jammies and then we'll do dessert. Callie, when Callie and Felix are done with um, being with his family, they're gonna FaceTime in and we're gonna do the night before Christmas story and the Cajun one that Derek does because she, Felix has never heard it. We'll do the nativity, say a prayer and go to bed. I'm gonna make this freezer meal really good. Derek got me. It is a hoodie. Sleeves. Like a hoodie. This is so soft and cozy. This is what I'm sporting today. Got my grand fur babies. And now I'm complimenting. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're aggressive. Oh, not my hoodie. Kelly and Felix showed up. We had breakfast. So um, we're gonna have Christmas with Callie and Felix, give them their gifts, and then we're gonna chill for a few hours and we're gonna have our family dinner early. So we're having prime rib for lunch slash dinner. I do need to make the cranberry salsa. So, um, but we're just gonna get ready to exchange gifts with Callie and Felix.
Kimmy, go play! I, I've been zapped too much! <laughs> it made my hair staticky! Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my goodness, they're playing hot potato upstairs with a toy that my nephew got. It's literally a potato that has all these sensors on it and when it goes off, it zaps you. Okay, for dessert, besides all the other munchies, I'm bringing upstairs Costco's double crust apple pie. We've always wanted to try this, so we're gonna give this a whirl and of course their pumpkin pie with some like ready whip whipping cream. That pie is delicious, oh my goodness. So, well friends, we had a great Christmas. We spent the day in our jammies. Uh, my sister-in-law and her family were here and it was just so fun. It, half of us were all in our jammies. It was just so, so much fun. So now I'm gonna take a break. It is 7.40 and I'm gonna get down here picked up for round two tomorrow with all the fun. Uh, tomorrow I do know that we're going to the movies. We're gonna go see the new Wonder Woman movie. Uh, my mother-in-law rented out a theater for all of us to go see it in. But uh, yeah, so, and I'll be editing tomorrow this video for you guys. So I'm gonna get going and cleaning. I'll leave you with me cleaning up the Christmas fun. Um, I still have dishes in the sink from last night. I loaded the dishwasher and did some dishes, but I still have some still from last night, breakfast this morning. Um, so I'm just gonna tidy up and ready for round two tomorrow. So I pray that you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Uh, I just heard on my phone about the explosion in Nashville. Um, my prayers go out to all of you that were affected by that. <sighs> Not cool not cool um so that's very sad to hear but i hope that you were surrounded by the ones that you loved on christmas um tell me what you did in the comments i want to know what did you eat what did you make uh what was the dinner what was your favorite part of it all of it even if you weren't with your loved ones i know this year is definitely different what did you see the good that you saw this christmas so leave me down below what did you do this Christmas. Alright guys, I'm going to get cleaning. Thank you so much for joining us and I will see you soon. Bye.